Alrighty mofos, welcome back. And now that we got our table set up in our database, what I wanna do now is I wanna talk to you guys about the Django database API. One of the coolest things about Django, I do say that a lot, like everything's the coolest thing about Django, but I really like it. So in order to use this tool, just for learning it, the best way is to open up a terminal. And I am actually going to open up this one, PowerShell again, just because this one can take up the entire screen. And in order to use it, just go ahead and navigate to your main directory and type Python, not Mython. That would be kind of cool word though, Mython. Python manage.py shell. Now this is gonna look a lot like the regular Python shell, but again, the regular Python shell that you may have used is just Python shell. Once you type Python manage.py shell, that's gonna give you the special Django database API shell. So again, it gives us this little prompt. And now what we can do is we can start writing database commands and we're gonna learn a bunch of them. But what we're gonna be doing is since in the last video, we made the tables for album and song. So right now in the database, we have two tables. We actually have a bunch of them that Django created himself. But what we did is we created two tables and the album table has four columns, artist, album title, genre, and album logo, and song, has an album column, a file type, and a song title. Now they actually have some other columns and we'll talk to you, or I'll talk to you about those in a second. But anytime you wanna use those models, you actually need to import them just like you do in regular Python code. So from music.models, go ahead and import album, come on Bucky, I know you can spell it, and song. All right, now that we have those models imported, we can go ahead and start performing some functions on them. So right now I just wanna see all of the items that are in the album table. So if I go album, objects, all, then look at that, nothing. All right, so obviously we don't have any items in there because we didn't add any, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So just go ahead and make a variable called A and set this equal to a new album object. So this is just a regular Python object and if we look at album, the album class has four attributes, artist, album title, genre, and album logo. So you can just go ahead and add them like this. So artist, I'll say Taylor Swift. And what was the next one? Album title. I think she had a album title named Red. And what is her genre? country I actually don't know if that album is country but in this tutorial it is now for album logo again later on I'm gonna be showing you guys how to actually upload photos and how to store those files on your server and how to store the file path in your database so you can use it in your code but for right now I did not do that so what we're gonna do just for now is go ahead and grab any image off the internet and I got this one and this isn't actually um, the logo for the album because I didn't want to get sued in these tutorials. This is actually just, I don't even know if this is an image of me, like my face or the new Boston logo, but whatever. Just go ahead and hit enter. And now we have this object in memory. So what we need to do after this is we actually need to save this to the database because right now it's just in the shell's memory. So how do we do that? Just go ahead and hit a dot save. So this is a function that actually takes it and saves whatever object this is, which is this album, to the database. Now, another cool thing is, you know how I said that right now we have one album in there and it has all these columns. So if we just wanna you know, print one out, we can just go A, artist, Taylor Swift, A, album title, red. Now we can do that for every column, but I also said that we have another one that automatically gets added called the primary key or ID. Now, some people call it a primary key and some people call it an ID or a unique ID. And you can actually see that Django lets you call it whatever you want. So if you wanna just refer to it as an ID or primary key, it doesn't matter. These are literally the exact same thing. They point to the same thing. So there you go. So now you see that we have one item in our database. This is how we created it. And this item has 
artist album title genre album logo and also a unique id so the next album that we add to our table it's going to have the id 2 id 3 so on and so forth so let's go ahead and just add another one real quick and i'll show you guys another way to do it so i'm just going to name this one b um maybe i'll name it album 2 now I'll just keep it b whatever so you can also do something like this you can create an empty album and then with that album you can go ahead and just say artist equals there's actually a band a pretty cool band in my school when i was growing up my high school called myth so i'll stick with them now what is the other attribute album title i actually don't even know what the album title was i'll name it uh high school and genre i'll say punk and their album logo Let me just go ahead online and find our. All right, so this is just the image of me and my sister. But that'll work for now. So again, whenever you create an object, you can do so in one of two ways. You can just pass everything in through the constructor or you can just create a blank object without any attributes and then add them all manually. But anyways, at the end, Whenever you're done with everything, what we can do is just write B, save. So that saves this object to the database. So just like before, we still have A, artist, which is Taylor Swift, B, artist, which is myth. And if we ever wanted to change one of these attributes, for example, I'm like, oh, actually, I just remembered that um, they did have an album title and it wasn't called high school, it was called middle school. Then we can go ahead and save that as well. So look at that. 